Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. I'm sure you've heard how good sweet potatoes are for you. A few years ago we actually tried mashed sweet potatoes and it was sweet. Not quite the taste we were hoping for. So what I did was to come up with another solution. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my mixed mashed potatoes. Let's be honest, we're talking about mashed potatoes here. And from one household to another, I'm sure everyone makes fabulous ones. But this mashed potato recipe has a twist to it. Let's find out. So my friends, let's get cooking. Here what we'll use in my mixed mashed potato. Three raw sets plus one large sweet. So one important factor to do here is to cut the potatoes in equal pieces as much as possible. Therefore, everything cooks equally. You can use your own way of cutting them as long as they are the same size. I like to cut mine in half lengthwise and half again, then in thirds. I do the same with the sweet potato. As I said, as long as they are about the same size, okay? So in a large pot, we'll place the potatoes. What we like to do here is to put some russet, then sweet, mix them a little. Does that make a difference? Nah, probably not. Then we'll fill the pot with cold water and add a couple generous pinches of sea salt. We'll transfer to the stove top, bring the water to a boil, and cook until tender, about 20 to 25 minutes. Best way to know when the potatoes are cooked is to poke with a fork. If it goes in easily, they're ready. We'll drain the water and simply mash them. We'll add butter and mash to incorporate. We'll do the same with sour cream. Add and mash. To this, we'll add cream, but if you want a lighter version of it, use milk. Just like previously, we'll mash until well incorporated. We'll season the potatoes with garlic salt and freshly ground black pepper. If you want to add regular salt to it, go ahead. It's your potatoes. And of course, we'll mash them again. The next ingredient we'll add to it is green onions. We'll mash until well blended. Now, for the final touch, we'll add fresh chopped parsley. Mash and cover until we're ready to serve. And my friends, this is our mixed mashed potato. This flavorful potato combination gives a great new twist to everyday mashed. In fact, David and I prefer these over regular. Having a three to one ratio provides not only a health benefit, but a tastier side dish without being overly sweet. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cluffpoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!